I bring you greetings today on this Wednesday morning from the Florence International Church in Florence, Italy. My name is Pastor Randy McGeehee, and today it is my privilege to share this brief moment of devotional thought with you from God's Holy Word. On September the 5th, 1886, Charles Spurgeon began his sermon on, our, on the text with these incisive words. He said, Satan is always doing his utmost to stay the work of God. He hindered these Jews from building the temple, and today he endeavors to hinder the people of God from spreading the gospel. A spiritual temple is to be built for the Most High. And if by any means the evil one can delay its uprising, he will stick to nothing less than to do so. If he can take us off from working with faith and courage for the glory of God, he will be sure to do it. He is very cunning and knows how to change his arguments and yet keep to his design. Little cares he has now in the works so long as he can hurt the ultimate cause of God. Satan's only design is to hurt the cause of God. To do his infernal work, he has many weapons in his arsenal. He may at one time use greed. He may at another time use anger or malice or false accusations. Still another time, he may use something like lust, evil desires, or the temptation to revenge. But of all his weapons, none, hear me, none is sharper than the one called discouragement. If only he can get the saints of God to despair over their efforts, then his battle is already assured and won. It was advertised that the devil was going to put his tools up for sale. On the date of the sale, the tools were placed for public inspection, each being marked with a sale price. There were a treacherous lot of implements, things like hatred, envy, jealousy, doubt, lying, pride, and the list goes on and on. But laid apart from the rest of the pile was a harmless looking tool, well worn and priced very high. The name of the tool was, was asked by someone who was considering purchasing. Oh, said the adver adversary, that tool is the tool of discouragement. Why have you priced it so high, he was asked. And the response was, because it's more useful to me than the others. I can pry open and get inside a person's heart with that one. When I cannot get near him with other tools, once I get inside, I can make him do what I choose. It's a badly worn tool because I use it on almost everyone since few people know it belongs to me. The devil's price for discouragement was so high that he never sold it. It's still, in this moment, 
his major tool. And he still uses it over and over again with God's people. Disappointment is the theme of the passage that we have looked at. People in Israel during the ministry of the prophet Haggai are disappointed and discouraged. Many years earlier, we find in 586 BC, the Babylonians had invaded Israel. They had taken the people away to Babylon as captives. The Babylonians had destroyed Solomon's temple in Jerusalem, and after 50 years, some of the people were allowed to return to Israel. When they arrived, they began the process of rebuilding their precious temple. The work stopped after just a short time because of opposition from the Samaritans. For 16 years, the temple remained unfinished, and then God raised up the prophet Haggai to call the people back to their task of rebuilding the temple. The people responded to the voice of God's man and they began to build again. But after only a month they became discouraged and again they wanted to quit. They were disappointed by the temple. They were building and they were discouraged in the work that they were doing. Haggai writes to them to challenge them and to encourage them to carry on. That is a message I think we all can use today. Let me ask you, do you ever become discouraged in the work of God? Do you ever find yourself disappointed in your work for the Lord? Quite frankly, I think if we're honest, we would all have to say yes to those questions. There are times when disappointment looms over us like an imposingly high, impassable mountain. If we are not careful, our disappointments can derail our lives and cause us to lose faith and our focus on what we are about. If we are not careful, our disappointments can even cause us to quit on the Lord Jesus Christ. The lessons that are taught here in Haggai can help us when we are overwhelmed by disappointment and want to quit. I want you to understand that you were made to be more, hear me, more than a conqueror. And the Lord intends for you to be an overcomer. He has the keys and the tools, all of them, that each of us need today. Call out to Him. Listen to His voice. Listen to His instructions to you. Then, most importantly, pick up those tools Take that instruction and do them for the glory of God. In this moment of time, like never before, God is looking for a people who will be faithful and serve Him with their whole heart, their whole life, and accomplish everything that He has called them to do. May we be found to be that kind of person today. God bless you for joining us today in this devotional thought from the Florence International Church. We hope that you will join us each Wednesday morning for another inspirational thought that will help you as you live out and walk out your life for the week that you are now living. Also, be sure and join us on Sunday mornings at 8 a.m. Central European time for the message of the week 
and we trust that it will be a message that will challenge you and encourage you, and I know it will because God intends for it to do so. So join us, we pray, and let us know if there are prayer requests that you might have. You can email them to us at the Florence International Church at gmail.com. And I can assure you, we will read them and we will pray. God bless you today and thank you once again for being with us.